అంటే అభయ్ వన్ టూ ఒకదాని తర్వాత ఒకటి హిట్ నావ్ దే ఆర్ కమింగ్ విత్ అభయ్ త్రీ సో లెస్ యాజ్ దమ్ దట్ యు నో వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ సెన్సేషన్ దిస్ థర్డ్ సిరీస్ ఇస్ గోన్ మేక్ ఎస్ సో డైరెక్టర్ కెన్ ఘోష్ అండ్ కునాల్ కేమ్ సో హౌ ఇస్ ద జర్నీ సో వెల్ ఇట్స్ బీన్ డార్క్ జర్నీ and it's something of self discovery of uh, for both of us in a new genre from where we come from before kunal is very well known in comedies i come from a background of romance and music and uh, it was great fun and it is still fun and now we hope uh, the audience likes the audience likes what we've had fun making so like you said that you know the completely different genres where you worked before now this is completely a crime thriller what what is that enticing part to shoot something different <laughs> because uh, i mean i had reached a point where i cannot i could not i don't think i'll be able to shoot one more girl in slow motion you know turning her hair like that <laughs> kunal is it is it not like injustice to a, a hero like you know who should do a romantic scenes as well <laughs> He's been shooting a lot of me in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have long enough. Yeah, where's where's the girl then? It is like <laughs> this. <laughs> no, but I think what he, it, to add to what he said, it was it was such a wonderful experience for both of us to step out of not not our comfort zone because we didn't even know that I think it's very yeah. much a comfort zone for us today. Mm-hmm. Uh but it's a zone that we hadn't explored before. And 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 the fascination and the romance of that is slightly more uh exciting. Mhm. to see that uh, i'm going to test something mm-hmm. new mm-hmm. and uh, i've known ken for a very long time i've of, of course seen all of his work but i have to say that when season 1 finished i called him up and i said i don't know why you didn't do this because i think this this is your true voice because you're so good at this and i know that a lot of others who were reading the scripts and like oh my god this is very dark i can't even think that how you're going to shoot it but he would come on set and he would read and he's like okay okay now i want you to do this now let's make it darker and i don't think the writers had also written it as scary in a way without it being with ghosts as he saw it okay. and uh, and i was slightly concerned about his well being <laughs> as like you are actually thinking a lot of dark stuff in your head and you're shooting it it's it's one thing to like watch is, is it in you or that instinct like no like you know all the saying. anger and suppressed <laughs> yeah. emotions he just let go through up <laughs> I well I don't know I think it's it's just part of a story tellers mm. thing you know you get into a zone and you yeah. start shooting it and then you start thinking of how you can in fact uh, in season 3 and even earlier I used mm. to I I would try to add a little bit of comedy sometimes mm. you know in a dark space in mm-hmm. the most you know uh, you don't expect mm-hmm. comedy to be there right. I mean we've got a scene here in season 3 uh, Uh, where there's a uh, you know a post mortem of a body happening yeah, yeah. Uh, but i've used it in a little dark humor humor yeah, kind of yeah, a way yeah. so i mean i in, you want to have fun na, while mm. shooting so yeah. at least you go back home you feel ke ha today i did something yeah new. maybe the you know the question like you know what i'm going to put is like late but not you know uh, something that i shouldn't why could not because you know like you said that you know comedy and you know other movies the genres where he worked entirely different from you know, what is so working to be now. fair yeah. i won't i won't take the credit for casting him mm-hmm. because he was there before i was yeah. there no i so, didn't mean to like yeah. you know he he can do but, pretty much but, anything but uh, yeah. you know to answer mm-hmm. your question when you say why kunal i say, mm-hmm. i would say why not kunal yeah. is is it because of like his no he, it's see i think uh, a talented actor is a talented actor is a talented actor you know you throw him into any uh, zone any swimming pool he will know how to swim his mm. way back out of it and do it in style and right. come out shining hum sir se to dekh rahe hain kunal ko so raja hindustani that you was a best child artist right so had you you know you have an idea like you know where you will reach did you you know put any marks like you know this is the mark where i need to reach mm, because no. having said that because you know saif ali khan and you know, soha that you know, they are right. the families like you know right. uh, very much popular right, right? It, I, i don't mean that you know you're not but still that no, there no, is sure. some no, expectations of course, no, of right? course. So, i mean i'm saying they're yeah. the superstars yeah. in their own yeah. leagues uh but but you know to answer that question i think when i was doing it as a child actor mm. uh, it was never something it was just a hobby ah. that uh, my parents were allowing mm-hmm. because i was enjoying doing it mm-hmm. but it was still about school was your profession this was a hobby uh, which would only happen if school could be managed 
so I never thought about being an actor while I was growing up. It's only when I did something like a zakum, mm. which is also at a point in life when I was about to give my boards and I had to make uh, a decision of what stream do I want to choose to kind of, you know, and what do I want to be in life. Was that, that was a very integral film of my career because I think that's when I realized that I really enjoyed doing this. I think I'm good at it. People definitely like me doing this. But what's important is I have to break that association with them as a child actor so that they don't see me grow up on screen mm -hmm. and think of me as a child always. Mm -hmm. So I took those six years off. Mm -hmm. I finished my education and I also did a lot of theatre in those years. Mm -hmm. But even when I did get an opportunity with a film like Kalyug, I don't think you, I mean, I don't know if you can set a benchmark because I think in this profession, mm -hmm. even with a film or a show, if you start setting benchmarks, mm -hmm. you're, you're setting yourself up for mm -hmm. like, I mean, depression is a big word, but for heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Because not everything goes exactly like how you plan generally in life. Correct. Correct. Uh, especially in this industry because so much is not in your hands because it's not a sport, right? Yeah, yeah. If you're a good tennis player, mm -hmm. then if you're good at what you do and you, you're given an equal platform and you can just win the World Cup, right? Yeah. But as an actor, you're just a spare part in the whole larger scheme of things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it has you to should be fit in well. pretty much everything. <laughs> Correct. So, I, I, and that's why I think even the biggest superstars of the country, mm -hmm. while they may have had a plan, mm -hmm. and I think everybody who enters the industry wants to, without knowing what the best or the top of it is, mm -hmm aspires to do that mm -hmm. uh, but the definitions of the top also keep getting changed I I'm saying I grew up in an industry where films were doing 50 weeks 75 yeah. weeks yeah. I have still have a trophy at home saying platinum jubilee mm -hmm. I don't know if today's actors even understand what that means Correct. because Correct. the business just so quickly Correct. evolved yeah, the dynamics have changed by the time I yeah. did Kalyug it had already come to a place where in a week you could tell a film mm -hmm. is good or bad mm -hmm. or successful or not mm -hmm. and then by the 2010 it came down to a weekend mm -hmm. by Friday, Saturday, Sunday if it's not done well then it's a flop or a hit mm -hmm. Na just before the pandemic it had reached to a Friday True. if it opens on a Friday and the way it opens, they will decide whether the film is a hit or a flop. So I don't know how that business works. Mm -hmm. And hence, in, in a scenario or a fast moving industry like that, how do you strategize, plan or set ben benchmarks? I think, I don't, I don't think it works. Yeah. Continue to the, my past question, the last question, like, you know, having said that, have you ever give a thought like, or somebody in a family said that, you know, a person from that kind of a family where he should be if he chose like you know acting as a career and where he is now of course you're doing phenomenally sure. well but do you have any other things in mind that you know where if you if you're not family or friends or whoever did you you know hear that get to hear that kind of a comment no i Kunal think Kunal should be in the last somewhere. place you about that has always been the banter around <laughs> you know uh, but i don't know but, but i'm saying the family is the last place where you will hear it in a critical way uh, that oh I don't think you've achieved your potential because I don't think anybody from your family and friends are only encouraging you and and you are your best and worst critic right so you are putting more pressure on yourself at least I am than anybody else can but the banter around me usually has been that oh you know uh, underdog mm -hmm. underutilized uh, and all of that but I take it in the most positive way and I think it's a positive way to say that this guy's got more to give than is being there yeah. as opposed to saying that think this guy's drained mm -hmm. like yeah. he should just now give up uh, <laughs> so I've never been bogged down by it even mm -hmm. though it's frustrating at times yeah, uh, and, but I think the frustration only arises from places when you are sitting at home not getting an opportunity to do it exactly uh, when you have opportunities to mm -hmm. do it mm -hmm. then this doesn't affect you so much because you're like at least I'm doing what I'm doing mm -hmm. otherwise you're s sitting there and feel, s feeling like I've got a burning flame in my hand what do I do with this yes <laughs> right what is the best appreciation you ever got like from family Soha or so Saif Ali Khan see family is are your biggest support uh, I think the day <laughs> they say something's wrong then you must be doing something really wrong uh, <laughs> because you know family and sometimes I feel you you know, there's a saying in Hindi, the ghar ki murgi dal barabar, sometimes you say. <laughs> so sometimes you take it for granted whether you like it or not, right. because mm -hmm. sometimes you're like, I don't know if my family or my friends are saying that I'm good in this or this film is good because they love me and they don't want to hurt me. Uh, whereas there are some people who unabashedly will tell you something's good or bad. Uh, luckily for me, like I said, I am my best and worst critic. So 
I will tell you before anybody else if something is bad, yeah. uh, and I won't be able to sell it to you. You're the better judge for your work. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, <laughs> like I said, mm. thank God the family is not coming and telling you that, buddy, this is not good because <laughs> then it has to. It'll be really bad for them to turn around. What, what is your work. personal take? Because after three series of Abai three yeah. being a cop, you know, being that serious in a dark, you know, feature, and uh, what else that you know you want to do, and what next? If I ask you. Sir? Like I said, I don't, I don't strategize or, I, or plan because very early on in life I realized that that's not the best thing to do for yourself. Because mm. uh, you know, there's an old saying that man proposes, God disposes. Mm. But setting goals is also uh, something. Of that course, but I'm saying short-term goals mm -hmm. are like right now. If I've got something like an Abhay, I my goal is to do it to the best of our united abilities. Because it's not like I can't I can't say that let's do something which the producers might say I don't have the budget for or the director might say I cannot visualize this and I can't shoot it so set realistic goals in a way that if I know our season three is going to happen let's make that happen to the best of its capabilities and then also whatever see we can only make the most of what is offered to us yeah. uh, unless I have a big fund behind me that allows me to do exactly what I imagine which I don't so the opportunities that come my way I select from those based on instinct. And what I think I'll be able to do justice to, and I just concentrate on that. Anything over and above that, which is not in my control, is I won't say stupid, but it's unrealistic to do, and I'm not an unrealistic person. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, sir. So after Abai, that what is that? You know, you have in your kitty that w what is the other subjects or genres, if I may ask. So the beauty of uh, OTT is mm -hmm. um, that there's a lot of stuff happening, mm -hmm. and there are a lot more choices mm -hmm. now. Uh, there are different platforms, uh, so right now there's a choice. Nothing is signed, mm -hmm. so it's a little uh, too early to comment exactly that. Okay, this is what I'm doing, but uh, uh, suffice to say that there's the the, the choices are there, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes there's a ch the choice is up to me. I mean, yeah, okay, what is it that you want to do? But is it not wonderful that you know we ever thought that you know for web series and you know OTT platform movie like which is coming in OTT that you know we would come and you know interview you you know travel all the way from Mumbai yeah. to Hyderabad mm -hmm. you know isn't like a good sign and you know it's a vast and it's going to be really big absolutely future, that yes. the yeah. the world is becoming a smaller place mm -hmm. as well as a bigger place at the same time you know that's yeah. what I mean it's everything is turning around and churning mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's it's a great as time. a director that you know or directing Kunal. What what is that surprise question that what you got at what point of time? In his in surprise act, acting abilities, so, whether it is no, there hmm. was see, I uh, being a director, hmm. you see a person's work and you know, okay, hmm. he knows hmm. his stuff. Hmm. 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 You know, I mean, uh, though we had never worked together, but I mean, I've seen his work before. So uh, for me, uh, there wasn't a surprise, mm -hmm. but there was that. Uh, reassurance that you know okay now you know there's a lot more I can trans you know transfer to him uh, because Abhay or any in this genre uh, Abhay is as good as his villain okay you know so if his villain is not good mm -hmm. Abhay is not good okay you know in in a romantic uh, film mm -hmm. uh, the romantic film is as good as the heroine right you know because it's all the hero has to win over right, right. here Abhay has to defeat these villains, so these villains have to be really good. So it sort of worked out a very nice teamwork where he focuses on Abhay. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've right in the beginning itself the sort of the groundwork and the framework of Abhay. Was it was it planned? It's going to be like you know three series in a row, or no, 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 it's it's no, just no. going. It's the just journey one continues. season, and then okay, now season mm. two, okay. we do season two, and I said no, now season three. So I mean that's how that's how web uh, series works. Right. right. Uh, though they might always say yes, yeah. you plan for season five, right, like you right, said, right. man proposes, but yeah. the platform or the channel will dispose. Correct. Correct. Saying okay, no, no, <laughs> it didn't one, work, so we one. stop at season yeah. one. So Kunal, though that I was told that you know not to ask about Kashmir files, I know that you didn't watch the movie yet. But you know, since the entire India knows today, I do not want to, you know, pull you into the controversy. Not that I want to give a credit to a filmmakers or some political party, but I just want to know the experience because you born in 83, 84. You know, whatever that you know, bad things, insurgency happened in 90s, right? You must have something related to that, that you know, whether it is good, bad, or whatever. That what is your take on it? You, uh, you know, actually, I'm somebody who's experienced this, uh, and it's always been raw. And I think because of that, it's been, I was. Six or seven then yeah. when when we left, yeah. and I did speak about it. I just feel that it's. Uh, 
I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but I just feel that it's a conversation that was pending for a very long time, that uh, was time and again brought up, but never kind of took a national, uh, you know, it never was discussed on a national platform. But it's not anything new for me. I know that it, there's a lot of shock value and surprise value for the people who are watching it. But also you have to understand that for me, my perspective of a six-year-old is always going to be different from somebody. My parents would be the right people to kind of exactly. you know, talk about that. Yeah. I mean, while I can talk about the trauma, I'm not completely educated to tell you about uh, what went wrong, totally whether it was totally political understand. or whether totally it was bad. Yeah. So, but like I said, for me, it's just that it, it was traumatic in, in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. But I also do have wonderful memories of uh, growing up in, in that place. I went to school there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think my parents have done a very good job of not letting any kind of uh, animosity of any sorts come in, even though uh, a lot of those interviews that have come to the surface and a lot of footage that's come to the surface, I remember watching it as a seven-year-old because you couldn't... Really recall, yeah. So like I said, it, it is something that was traumatic for everybody uh, and uh, it's 30 years too late to kind of, you know, bring it at a national level of discussion. Exactly. But I, I hope we take the positives out of that and if there is something that can be done to resolve tensions and issues uh, should definitely happen. Yeah, the, my take is like, you know, whether somebody is taking mileage out of this, besides that, like, you know, we have trivialized enough, like, you know, the trauma, whatever the people, you know, underwent. Now that, you know, people at least know that, you know, what exactly been happened there. So it's good that, you know, wh whatever you said that, the a six year old kid, like, you know, what he may recall. Definitely, yes, but yeah. So, yeah, moving on. So what next? Abhay, as I, you said that it is not planned, but still, you might have something in mind. Uh, I mean, uh, right now we, we're talking about Abhay season three. Uh, God willing, if it does well, uh, there might be more seasons in the future. But Second this, part was hit, you know, bigger hit than first. Yes. Yeah, and the third part we we expect we're that you know, we're hoping hoping it is. Yeah. <laughs> but besides Abhay, there is a couple of other things that are that uh, I've already done uh, another film, but it should be up for release in a couple of months. Uh, there's another show that will be uh, ready by the end of this year uh, and some stuff that I'm starting in, th in the next few months. So I mean there's a lot of exciting work happening and like we s discussed earlier it's a very interesting time where not just uh, the web platform and the theatres and the films and the shows that are happening but it's also very interesting right now because I think uh, India is becoming India at least when you know they say the cricket and cinema are two, dif two different religions. I think on a very national level that's happening when a film like an RRR or a KGF or a Pushpa, uh, you know, come there to promote the films and they're accepted so well, even though they're dubbed. Uh, similarly, we as, as a show are here in Hyderabad, not just promoting a Hindi film or a Hindi show. Yes. It's a show that's going to be presented in the, in the language long time that everybody, due, actually, that you everybody understands. <laughs> so I feel that it's, it's a great time where we're also not seeing something as north and south Correct. Uh, because the languages might be a barrier yes but they don't differentiate us because the emotions and the cultures are practically the yes. same now the legend directors like Raj Mauli have said that you know whatever you're saying there is like Indian cinema it is going to be called yes. as yes. not any regional because you know languages has no more a barrier thanks to OTT yeah. yes sir yeah so what is your take on like you said Telugu movie is doing really well up, up north and uh, you know actors you mentioned Triple R Pushpa and I overheard when you said that you like Alu Arjun. Yeah, yeah. Is it the dancing it. skills or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, all of that. I, I think, uh, I mean, it, generally, even Junior and TR is f f fabulous when it comes to dancing. I mean, that's been, it's been consistent. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm saying Chiranjeevi sir time also. Every, everybody used to like have that dance thing going really well. You ever got a chance to always, watch Telugu movies? I have, I have yeah. actually. I've watched <laughs> a lot of Telugu films, Malayalam films and mm -hmm. Tamil films. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just nicer now that you can, you have good dubbing artists now mm -hmm. who are doing that. True, because true. earlier what would happen is you would have these films dubbed, right, right. but they were really, I don't yeah, want to disrespect anybody. I got surprised, anybody, you know, continue to that, like Raj Mauli sir. He was saying in some interview that, you know, how do they do it? They write like, you know, four to five versions of a dialogue which conveys the same exactly. kind of, that, you know, meaning. The emotion. And they add to that, like, you know, where it sinks with the lip. That's, that's amazing work, yeah, And I think that's, that's yeah. what it's the future yeah. should be. And I think maybe that's what stopped a lot of actors because, uh, you know, I, I would always feel that, uh, that if, if I'm good, if somebody asked me to do a Tamil or a Telugu or a Malayalam uh, film or, or something. Given a choice, I t tell me that first, where do you want to work with in South? I, any place. I mean, I just think that the see for us, unfortunately, it's not ignorance, but like you can't immediately when you see something, it's very tough for somebody who doesn't know the language to differentiate between Telugu and Tamil. Mm. 
even though Malayalam does sound slightly different ah, from yes, both. True, true. So for me, I wouldn't up until a certain point of time be able to tell you whether I'm watching a Tamil film or a Telugu oh, film okay. if I watched it in, in the original okay, way. Okay. So that's why it's tougher for me to kind of differentiate if Nagsar only did uh, mm. Telugu mm. and you know Alu Arjun only does Telugu and Mahesh Babu does Tamil and you know Mohanlal sir is from mm. the Malayalam mm. industry. Mm. That's something because I love the industry and I know more about it, I got to learn. Mm. But I'm saying to a novice, uh, he might be able to just say that I saw a South Indian film. He mm. wouldn't be able to justify right, that. Right. So for me, uh, I, I've seen, and maybe because I've seen the filtered, the ah. most talked about ah. films, mm. I have loved all, all of these films. So if I knew the language, I would have been doing all of them. But I just feel that as an actor, I might not be able to do justice to any of those because I may not be able to understand the exact meaning of the word okay. and how it translates to mm -hmm. and how do I put the pausings in the right place? Mm. Where is the full stop going to come? Where is the comma going to come? It's all about exercise, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, if you don't know the language, oh. then you're just memorizing it yeah. without feeling it. So that's been my okay. barrier with it. Right. But I feel that maybe in today's time, mm -hmm. like you said, like, you know, you watch a Pushpa today mm -hmm. and it's dubbed so well yeah. that you can't tell if Alu Arjun actually is speaking in Hindi yes, or... Right. Maybe it can come to a place where I would be able to do a right. Tamil, Telugu or a Malayalam we film to. speaking forward. in my language, but, you know, dubbed so well right. that you can't tell the difference. Right. Right. When do we get a chance to see you next to Saif Ali Khan on a big screen? Uh, not anytime soon because <laughs> it's not that something that we're working on but we really uh, love and respect each other not just as, mm -hmm. as a person but also a professional. Mm -hmm. So it'd be lovely to get an opportunity to make that uh, a reality. What, what is the real uh, part like you know where you admire Saif because we love him. Yeah. yeah what is I, I think my love for him uh, before I got to know him was for him as an actor mm -hmm. and I think one of those integral movies in his career was uh, Omkara when he played oh, Langra Tyagi and it yes. became such an iconic yeah. thing yeah. and I think he was also one of those few guys who got that cool quotient uh, and he had this the cool way of doing comedy in a slightly different way uh, and I used to always like that whether it was a Hum Tum or a Dil Chata Hai or even a Kal Hona Ho mm -hmm. you know he would do something or even a film like Rehna Hai Tere Dil Mein where he just stood out because of something that he would do differently uh, and of course after getting to know him I, I saw that that was also an extension of his own personality because he is yes. a bit like that. So I really love and respect that yeah, about him. Yeah. Adi Purish, you, did you share anything with, about, about yes, the characters? Yes, it's a hugely exciting project mm -hmm. uh, with hugely exciting talents involved. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know a little more than <laughs> everybody else, but I'm also very excited to see how it's all going to kind of end up. Super, sir. So you tell me about that Abai 3, sir, and uh, how is it going to interest the audience and you know how we to you know, engage the people you know whoever watch Abai 3 well because uh, we got the you know that glitch uh, seeing the trailer, trailer and yeah. uh, we got the sense of like you know the subject though because you know nowadays Rudra is another thing you know which is in the same lines mm. if I'm, I may be wrong but yeah, you know, correct yeah, me yeah, yeah. 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 That, how so, different is it yeah. so uh, here uh, I mean since it's the third season mm -hmm. we could go that much further from Rudra whereas yeah. for Rudra is their first season uh, so we, I mean, when we started working on season three, mm. we'd been through two seasons mm. and uh, we've done a lot already. So this time when we moved ahead, we moved slightly into the supernatural zone. Exactly. Which you can make yes, out trailer. from the trailer, you yeah. know. Slightly in that supernatural zone, which is very interesting mm. because, uh, I mean, as Vijay Raj's character says, he is death mm. himself. Mm. I mean, what does Abe do against death? Right. So, like I said earlier, Abe is only as good as the villains. Mm. So, this time we put the villain so high right. that Abe has to conquer death. Right. right. So, so, that's... Yes, the that's villains are stronger as the strong the, you know, hero should be. So, yeah. we can uh, anticipate something. Yeah. So, yeah. Wish you all the very best. Sir. Thank so, you. Abe 3 should do really well than second uh, series. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. We wish to see you like, you know, more in a more, you know, much more uh, variety genres and, you know, like we said, with Saif Ali Khan and the South films as well. I yeah. hope so too. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Wish you all the best, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for being with us. Thank hope you. you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching.